What's up everyone, thanks for joining me. This week I'm on vacation, so we're gonna do a SQL Server road trip. I'm hiking in Colorado and Utah, so it'll be a little bit of a different video, but I think you'll enjoy it. This week's tip will no doubt save you lots of frustration if you're dealing with a server instance that has a lot of different database objects in it. I actually learned this from Jess Pomfret at our local Ohio North SQL Server user group meeting, so shout out to her for teaching me uh, how to do this. If you've ever worked in a database that has hundreds or thousands of objects, either tables or stored procedures or functions, you probably know it's pretty annoying and time consuming to have to scroll through them to find the ones you need. Well, did you know you can filter down on that long list of objects? All you need to do is right click and choose filters on most objects and you can filter that list down. Whoa, it's windy! And these filters let you filter on object name, schema name, create, date range, and more. So for example, if we want to find all the tables in the travel schema, having to scroll through the entire list is really tiring and cumbersome. Not a problem though. All we do is right click, choose filters, and add a schema filter onto the travel name schema. Now our list of tables is filtered to only that one schema. Pretty cool. SSMS even tells us that our objects are filtered so we're not misled into knowing what's there. One thing to be aware of though is that after you restart SSMS, that filter disappears. Also don't allow you to have multiple filters on an object. Uh, even with those limitations though, I still find this feature to be pretty useful. Well thanks for watching this week and I'll see you next time.